you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got our 1030 content video. It is Thursday, October 10th, boys. So we got a few, we got quite a few things today. Quite, quite a few things to go over today. More content than usual. We got, I don't know what it's like, potentially seven players, depending on what they drop, guys. So, so far, we got, being that it is Mutt Heroes and that the dates were planned out, we do have four Mutt Hero drops that I'll be going over in video. I'll go over all those guys for you. We do have the Signature Series cards also coming today, as per usual with the Thursday content. And a limited time card coming. So, Mutt Heroes has dropped so far two more limited, limited time cards. We got Aaron Donald, Andrew Davion Clowney. They're both in packs right now. The third should be releasing today. I will show you guys that in this video. And then beyond that, guys, the four new players are going to be pretty cool. I'm going to go over all their stats and everything over on Mudhead, and I'll show you guys all the signature series cards and everything else you guys need to know for today's content drops. Now, guys, before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Give a big... Hit that sub button, boys. That was coming out. We hit that sub button, boys. We are so close to 10K. We're at about 9.67 now, so we're really close. I'm getting super hyped and kind of getting jittery at the fact that we might actually hit it within this week. So thank you guys for all the support. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below what you think of the four cards and everything else that I show in this video. And make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up, boys. Get the video to 200 likes. Now let's head on over to all the other screens to show you guys the Mudhead cards, the Twitter cards, and to show you guys potentially the limited time. All right, guys, so to start off with the Mutthead cards that we'll be seeing today, these are the four Mutt Hero cards that are dropped today. We got Drew Brees, the first card I'm going to be going over, 5'11", 209 pounds. He's injured in real life right now, so they did give him a night. At least they gave him a card for now to hold off all the Brees fans until he gets back and he gets his own actual cards like Team of the Weeks and stuff. He has a 66 speed, 70 excel, 73 jumping, 66 agility, 51 strength. Obviously, no one gets a Brees card for his athleticism. Now, here's the issue with Breeze cards. They always give him a really weak throw um, throw power, which I get because he's a lot older now. But that kind of hurts his car because he has a 93 throw accuracy short. He's got a 90 uh, medium accuracy, 85 deep accuracy, 91 play action, 88 throw under pressure, 33 break sack, 79 throw, uh, throw on the run. So what kind of hurts this card here is the deep accuracy and the throw, under, uh, the throw power. Obviously, everything else is really good. Everything's mostly above 90 for what matters here. I do wish his deep accuracy was a little bit higher and his throw power specifically. But if you, if you have the proper chems, you can get this card up pretty high in throw power, like maybe 87 pride with the right chems on them, obviously. And maybe deep accuracy is like an 88. So obviously, this isn't like the biggest waste of a card here. There's still a lot of use you can get from this card. Very accurate. I just don't know if compared to other quarterbacks, he really stands out in terms of a pocket passer or even against one of the mobile guys. But next on this list, we got Jalen Ramsey. One of my top two, if not the top player dropped out of the Mud Hero promo. He is a monster, guys. I'm super hyped to get this card. Six foot one, 208 pounds, 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 85 agility, 64 strength, 89 jumping, 87 awareness, and 87 play rec. This card's a monster. The, his athleticism is insane for a Jalen Ramsey card. You combine that athleticism, that jumping, that speed, that excel, that play rec with some chems and the height he already has and his physicality. This card's gonna make some crazy plays. He also has 92 man, 90 zone, 90 press. So he hits all the thresholds. Cammed up, he's gonna have like a mid tier, uh, a mid high tier zone. Gonna have like a 94, 95 man, 93, 94 press. High hit power, good tackling, good pursuit for a cornerback. Not horrible. I am super hyped for this card, guys. Now stepping over to the next one, which is Tyler Boyd, a guy that's slightly underwhelming. He's not a horrible card. I just wish he might have been a little bit faster or something because he kind of nothing really stands out. He does have really good route running though, which I guess is kind of like he's supposed to be like a route running slot guy. I wish his speed was more like an 88, which made this card a lot better. He's got 86 speed, 89 excel, 84 agility, 85 jumping, 91 awareness. I mean, the acceleration is really good. He's got 93 catching, 86 catching traffic, 87 spec catch, 87 short route running, 87 medium route running, 81 deep route running, and 80 release. This card's more of a slot guy. He's not going to be the best outside receiver. He has a low release. He's going to be more of a guy that you get open. He runs really crisp routes and can really get past people. And see, after the catch, you got 83 ball carry vision. Decent break tackle, decent juke, decent spin. Nothing special. You, really, after the catch, he's not going to have much mobility. Maybe a few broken tackles, but that's about it, considering he does go up against cornerbacks. Covers the ball, brace for all hits. Makes aggressive catches, yes. Makes rack catches, yes. Makes possession catches, yes. Makes sideline catches, yes. Now, on to the next card. 
we got Malik Hooker. This card's actually kind of exciting. I do think this card is really, really good. And he has a free safety, so he does have potential to actually be used by people in regards to like a strong safety already having Pat Tillman. Malik Hooker is six foot one, two twelve. So he's got some he's got a good frame. Nice and tall for a safety. He's got 87 speed, 89 excel, 90 jumping, 86 agility, 91 awareness, 91 play rank. Right there, that's pretty insane. Powered up, this guy's gonna have an 88 speed, above 90 jumping, above 90 excel, close to 90 agility, above 90 awareness, above 90 play rec, and decent strength. Now his man's a little lackluster and his press, but that's kind of that goes to go hand in hand, right? If you're not gonna man up, you're probably not gonna press. So you if, as long as you're not manning him up and he's just like a zone only kind of inbox or even out deep kind of safety, he'll be just fine with the 88 zone. If you chem this guy up properly, he will have a, the zone threshold with crazy athleticism and a good hit power. He's kind of like a slightly better Earl Thomas right now. He's got the same build as Earl Thomas, but he's taller and a little more physical, which is what I like about him. He's a better Earl Thomas, in essence. Now, let's head on over back to the Twitter screen, and let's go check out the new T.Y. Hilton. So, guys, this T.Y. Hilton stats are a little bit blurry. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know if the picture size is just too small and it's being distorted, but I'm going to go over them anyways real quick for you guys. You can probably make it out. I'm able to see him. T.Y. Hilton, 91 overall wide receiver for the Colts. He's got that little route-looking specialist archetype, which I don't know what that means, but you guys probably do. 42 salary cap, another thing that matters to you guys. He's a limited time card, obviously, can be powered up. Powered up would be a 92 overall. His base stats, he's got 89 speed, 82 jumping, 88 catching, 81 catching traffic, 84 spec catch, 90 short route running, 88 medium route running, and 89 deep route running. So as a whole, powered up, this card's going to be pretty insane. Now, the only issue with this card, in my opinion, is his catch and traffic. I really wish they had given that to him. So if you power him up, he's going to have a 90 speed. And what really matters here, he's kind of like an Antonio Brown. 5'10", he's going to have all above 90 route running when you power and come him up. So he's going to be like an Antonio Brown type car with a little more speed. The only issues is catching traffic. I feel like you're really going to feel that when he runs it. Because when you run crisp routes, you create a window for yourself. Like a quick little out route possession catch. But he's going to be hit a lot and he's going to probably drop the ball. A slant route where he makes the, like a crisp cut. He might catch it, but then if he gets hit, he might drop it. He's not going to have, he's not going to be the most secure guy. So you're going to want to get him open for him to really like show you what he can do. But the issue with getting him open is anyone can, like once someone's open, they're open. Like anyone can make that catch. So it kind of does suck that in traffic, so I'm going to drop a lot of those balls. But the card itself does look pretty nice. I am a fan of this card. If it's catching traffic, was more like an 85, 86. I definitely love this card. That's going to hold him back a lot. I can already see all the balls he's going to drop when he gets nailed. He's not going to hold on to things. But that route running is really awesome. I haven't had many receivers with above 90 route running besides like Torrey Holt. So I haven't really experienced too many like crisp cut guys like that with some nice chems. But let's head on over to the next signature series, guys, and hopefully limited time soon. All right, guys, so we're doing this on Photoshop again because my computer gets very weird when I try opening up screenshots. But, guys, we indeed did get a limited time. I just watched the stream. I'm very hype. He's one of my favorite players in the NFL. But I'll go over all that after we go over the signature series, Chandler Jones, right outside linebacker for the Arizona Cardinals. He's a stud linebacker. He used to be on the Patriots, was a beast over there. He's got that bull rush looking archetype, limited time card, obviously. He's got 30 salary cap hit. Now, as far as the stats go, He's looking pretty good, although he's going to come with the knock like usual because that's what they was going to do. He's six foot five, really tall, but his height doesn't matter because you probably won't have him in coverage anyways. He's got 76 speed. That's kind of slow if you want to put him in coverage. So he's got to be, he's going to be strictly a rusher. 83 excel, 80 strength. That's decent. 90 tackling's really good. 91 play rack's really good. 90 power moves good. But now if you have him as a rusher, he can pass rush, but he can't run stuff. So I guess you'd probably want to keep him rushing the opposite side of where the run play might go because his block shed's 78. If they do run to the side, he's going to get demolished. He can pass rush really well if you put him on the opposite side. So I'd always blitz him opposite side of the run, backside probably. But the issue with that is that and you can't always anticipate what if it's a counter or something. I think he's too much of a liability in the pass rush game to really be useful. Now, next on the list, guys, we got Alvin Kamara. I'm super hyped for this card. I love Alvin Kamara in real life. He's one of my favorite players in the NFL. And this card is looking pretty insane. I wish his speed was a little bit higher, but he does have he has a lot of like of, of those stats you need. He doesn't just have like speed and excel, but he's got he's got excel, obviously. But he doesn't just have speed. He has like a lot of stats, like stiff arm, catching. He can do it all. 87 speed, 92 acceleration, 91 agility, 90 carrying, 82 catching, 86 elusiveness, 85 trucking, 89 tackle. Over on the man screen, I believe he has like a 88 stiff arm, 90 juke move. So his spin moves in 83, his juke moves in 91, his stiff arms in 88. He could potentially get arm bar, which would be very weird to see on an Alvin Kamara car, but I don't know. He's got a new looking chem, which looks like a receiving chem. A running and receiving i don't really know what that is 48 cap pit zero out of a million so he's going to be limited also just like the other ones and he's going to be on a count but i don't think anyone's going to pull a million of them so his carrying's amazing agility amazing acceleration amazing 
his caching amazing, his break tackle amazing, his speed's a little bit low, which is what's going to keep him and uh, Saquon Barkley apart. Saquon's going to be more of a faster, more power back, and Kamara's going to be more of a receiving slash like finesse back, so it all really depends. Although, I think Saquon might have the edge here. I wanted to say, I wanted to get say Kamara was better, but you really can't. Saquon's got three better speed. He's going to have better break tackle, better agility, better carrying. The only thing he's going to be missing out on really is catching and trucking, which I find weird that Kamara has better trucking, guys. But let's back, let's back, let's head back on over to the Madden screen real quick. All right, guys, so that is it for the video. As you guys can see, here is a Kamara powered up to a 93. I was just checking him out real quick. His stats are really, really good. I do really enjoy this car, guys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Let's get to 10K as quickly as possible. Hit the thumbs up button, boys, on this fire content day. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Comment down below what you think of all these limited times, all these new cards, and everything else in this video. That's it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos for the day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.